Hey everyone, this is Drake Bell, and you're watching Childhood DVD Fan right here on YouTube. How's it going, everyone? This is Childhood DVD Fan here. <clears throat> so I'm back to my original phone that I was having original issues with with the audio. I've been having a lot of issue, issues with my audio. Don't know what's up uh, with both phones. Uh, the first phone, the one that I'm recording with now, for some reason... And I don't know if it was because of the mat that I was sitting on for my previous videos, but if, it always sounded like my my feet were shuffling around every five seconds. I can promise you my feet are not shuffling every five seconds. And it's weird. It would be like towards the middle of the video, towards the end. It all started. Uh, I noticed it when I was trying to film that video that I never got out to you guys about the quiet on set before it even came out. Um, so then I thought, okay, let me switch to the other phone and see if... Uh, you know that the, the audio gets better no the audio sounds muffled uh in the in on the other phone especially the last video which is another failure of a video go check that out so uh i'm back to the original phone because if not i'm gonna have to go to my third phone and take a look at this um <laughs> uh yeah the battery's bad in this phone and i have been too lazy to replace it it's an old phone doesn't even have a case anymore yeah that's the last resort. I do not want to have to go to that phone. Anyways, let me uh, open it up with my handy-dandy scissors as I have a package here for my good buddy, Riley Owen. Uh, I got this in yesterday, just never filmed it. He filmed um, what I sent him. Unfortunately, I thought I was going to surprise him with the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody uh, DVD as an extra bonus. You guys remember, like, almost a year ago. I got uh, three copies of a Zack and Cody DVD that I found at a thrift store for three bucks. I never ended up testing out the two unsealed copies because one of them was sealed. Um, so I let him know that it is untested. But um, if there was any issues with it, I'd give him my sealed copy. I gave him my word. So if he, you know, or whatever he'll do, if he, you know, he has an extra one now. So I told him, I don't know, give it to someone else, you know, that doesn't have it or whatever. I thought I was going to surprise him with that. And then I sent him an X Men movie that didn't have a case, didn't have a cover to it, but it was just an extra thing I had lying around the house. But he had no interest in it. But he just appreciated the fact that I thought about trying to send him something that he might like. So, you know, whatever he does with those. And then obviously, um, he has my sealed copy of uh, Drake Bell's Telegraph album, the re-release, because he sent me something that I was looking for, um, and that's the original 2005 version. I had to cover up the. Uh, the goody stuff, the good information stuff, but I could show you his name. There it is, Riley Owen. Obviously, you guys don't know my real name, other than the fact that I'll reveal this for the first time. I have revealed this a few times on the community posts on the Drake and Josh Superfan channel, which I also run. And I'll say quickly, I know that I, um, between me and someone else who did run that channel, his name was Tim, uh, all the uh, clips for the show have not been uploaded yet. And I started the process last year of figuring out which ones still haven't made it, but I just got too caught up with too many things. And uh, quite frankly, um, that doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. So uh, I haven't uploaded on that channel since 2022. Um, so yeah, and you know, or Tim or whatever, I can't remember which one of us uploaded the last video. I think it was me. But anyways... Let me get to uh, the unboxing here, the uh, Drake Bell Telegraph album, the, the original 2005 version. All right, let's open it up together. I have not taken a look yet. Hopefully he doesn't have some type of note with my name on it, or else I'm going to have to edit this video further. Here it is. It's backwards, but here it is. Let me just uh, double check. There's nothing else in there. Okay. It's an empty uh, bag. Throw that aside. Boom. Here it is. Case is a little scratchy, but nothing too terrible. I'm going to be buying a whole bunch of replacement cases anyways. I've calculated I needed like 50 uh, replacement cases, unfortunately, because CD cases scratch and they crack very easily. Um, but yes, here it is. This is what I wanted to see the first time that I got, uh, you know... Um, this album, although I didn't know it ended up being, I, I bought it from a website called Bull Moose. I know that that's probably like the most random site name uh, imaginable, but this album has gotten very, very rare. And the reason it's gotten very rare is because of the quiet on set and Drake Bell revealing 
you know, his story with Brian Peck and all that stuff. And then because of that, he revealed that the song in the end was an encrypted uh, song about what happened to him as a young child or as a teenager uh, at the hands of Brian Peck uh, when he was working on the Amanda show. So that's why a lot of fans, you know, have um, been, you know, back on Drake's side again ever since he came out on the Quiet On Set documentary. Because let's face it, most of the fans, you know, or former fans or just people in general, before this documentary came out, the Quiet On Set, they were not fans of Drake Bell. Uh, they thought he was a pedophile. They thought he was a monster, just like his abuser, ironically enough, who's a real pedophile. Um and it took Drake having to share the most traumatic time of his life and still continue to talk about it in interviews and whatever. And there's going to be another quiet on set in a few days, which, you know, I never um, did a preview of, unfortunately. You know, I just got too caught up with too many things. But there's going to be yet another episode because of the unbelievable feedback that this documentary has created. And thank God it's created something. Um so they're going to do an additional episode. I think it's like April 6th or 7th, and today's the 4th. So it's coming in a few days, a new Drake Bell interview for the series and all that. Um, I saw a teaser earlier today. So, yeah, um, here it is, the original 2005 Drake Bell Telegraph album. Very happy to have this. I should have gotten all these CDs, whatever. I apologize about that, guys. I had a call come in that interrupted the video. Anyways... Uh, I don't even know where I was at, but here it is, uh, the original 2005 version, because I didn't realize this until I bought the CD or whatever, but there's a 2005 version, which is this one, and then there's a 2007 version, which was the, the sealed copy that I got, but I traded it to get this one because, you know, there's only one copy of Telegraph that I see online currently, and that's allegedly a signed copy by Drake Bell, Backhouse Mike, and a few other people. Now, if that's a, if that is really real and that's re legit, that is a fucking amazing, amazing, uh, you know, uh, CD that that whoever's trying to sell it, uh, they have a great item. Um, but I don't know if it's legit or not. And you know, eh, you know, I don't want you know to buy autographs for things that I wasn't there to see in person. That's just me. No matter what authenticity, uh, you know, uh, company out there says, oh, this is real, you know, whatever. There are other people, you know, people lie. I'm sorry, they're dirty. The only way I, at least in my heart, know that something is legit, um, and that's the autographs that I keep in my room. All the other autographs that I, like, collected through the years, whatever, um, that I never, you know, saw signed in front of me or whatever, I have them uh, in the other room because, like, they could be legit, but they may not be. I wasn't there to see. Um, you know, so I have pretty much all the autographs in my room, in my closets, whatever, that I was there to witness in person, like my Drake Bell signed uh, DVDs and, DVD and, and you know, uh, poster and all that, you know, that I know for sure is legit. So that's why I'm, you know, I'm definitely holding off on something like that. All right, guys, so I had to uh, stop the video because I wasn't expecting uh went to open this up and see a piece of paper that had the individual's address uh on it um that uh you know um that sent me this but i'm looking at it off camera right now and this is actually a really cool thing um so uh it looks like they sent me um the the receipt uh, for when they bought this album. that That's actually very cool that he included this. Um, there's really... <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful on this. But right here it says, Thank you for your order, Riley Owen, who was the original person who bought this. Uh, yeah. Very, very cool. So he included the receipt. It was He got it from a place called Half Price Books in... Carrollton, Texas, which actually Carrollton, Texas is, uh, my family has history down in Carrollton, Texas. That's pretty cool. Um, cause I was originally from Texas. So had to stop the video again and start over because I didn't expect to open it up and see that. So <laughs> thank you, Riley, for including that. That's a very cool thing. You know that I enjoy little things like that. And here it is. Drake Bell Telegraph 2005. It's, it's, a, it's a beauty, ain't it? 
<laughs> so yeah, um, I'm almost, I, I want to take the booklet out and look at what's inside, but I'm almost hesitant to because of the rarity of this. Uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm sure you can find uh, pictures of whatever. Uh, and by the way, that's a lovely shot of Drake's butt there. But anyways, um, you know, uh, I'm going to leave this, uh, you know, um, here. But I will take a look at the condition of the disc. However, let's take a look at the back. So this is a thanks. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the CD. Yeah, this is mint. Yeah, he told me that there was like a fingerprint or whatever at the bottom. Good God, Riley. Bless your heart, man. You got like light scratching overall, like maybe a little bit. In the, come on, Riley. This is like well, damn near brand new. I mean, it's used, but it's like very good used. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, uh, I am very, very happy to have an original copy of this. Um, not the re-release, the original one. Um, so thank you, Riley, for making that happen. Go subscribe to him. Uh, it's Riley Owen. Um, a very cool guy. Love him. We talk a lot on Instagram live. Uh, well, not on Instagram live, Instagram video chat. Um, very cool guy. Uh, you know, love him like a brother that I never had because I'm an only child. Um, very cool guy. So thank you for making this happen. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy the sealed copy. He said he was going to leave it sealed and I'm kind of glad because I was going to be not upset, but just a little bit, you know, like, uh, you know, if he unsealed it, whatever, because of rare items that are out of print, you know, that I hate, I hate having to, um, unseal things that are out of print, you know, that are old or whatever, you know? Um, so I'm glad that he's, decided to keep it in the plastic but we have talked about something but i won't specify what that is unless it actually comes to fruition anyways thank you very much and also thank you and i'll um i won't show you guys the other side because it has his information but he gave me the receipt of i guess when he uh got it um so that's a very very cool thing uh to um it kind of i feel kind of bad now i kind of almost wish that i included my um invoice you know because i still have it uh you know um when i with the package that the original uh well the the re-release sealed copy of telegraph came in but i didn't think that he would throw that in there as a bonus but he did anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this and it's nice to actually have a video where uh the cd you know thing like the ins like the justin timberlake it's not uh ripped or you know um or have something else different than what you wanted it to be. I When I bought the Drake Bell Telegraph album off of uh, Bull Moose, uh, which which I know it's a weird, weird website name, uh, because I looked online, and that was the only one that had a this album for a very, very good price, and I took advantage of that, uh, you know, because I bought it after The Quiet on set and when this is becoming very hard to find. Um, and it ended up being a sealed copy of the 2007 re-release and I'm like I wanted something that was unsealed because I feel better about having an unsealed thing uh for something that's harder and rare and whatever um because I don't want to have to be stuck with the choice of having to unseal something that's old and out of print and you know that could be the only sealed copy left and you're gonna unwrap that like no fuck that um but it ended up being a sealed copy uh, that he's thankfully going to keep in the wrapping, and I won't expand further on what could possibly happen with that. And um, it was the re-release one, so I wanted this. When I put that order in for Bull Moose, this is what I was hoping to get, an unsealed copy with the original 2005 uh, print date on there, on, you know, on everything. But Riley helped me out. We made the trade. Um, you know, he uh, gets himself a sealed copy of the drake bell telegraph album re-released from 2007 he gets an extra copy of the sweet life of zach and cody which you know whether he decides to keep that as a second or he gives that to anyone else it's his decision and he also gets an extra movie that you know he said in the video himself that he wasn't interested in but maybe he can give that to someone else i thought i was throwing in some goodies that he didn't have and maybe would interest him but it didn't really work out but it was just bonus you know whatever i threw in was bonus so he at least just got his uh Drake Bell, you know, sealed Telegraph album, and I got exactly what I was looking for. So, so thank you, Riley. Link in the description below. I know I'm rambling on and rambling on. And, thank, and hopefully the audio in this video 
didn't sound like I was moving around and, 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 not, and not muffled and whatever, you know, because I don't know. Ever since I filmed that video, I've just been having issues every time I've tried to film a video. Like, it's almost to the point where I'm almost considering getting a professional camera or something or trying to have to record my audio separately with something to where it doesn't sound like where it's not noticeable. And maybe that's just me, you know, overreacting. But I mean, you know, go check out the last few videos. The audio is not good. And hopefully this is the one that breaks that trend. Anyways, this has been Childhood DVD Fan. Thank you again, Riley. Link description below to his channel. So long, everyone. Hey, this is Jonathan Goldstein Walter from Drake and Josh. I just want to thank you for watching Childhood DVD Fan right here on YouTube.